Okay, moving on to match three. See what we're up against. So yeah, our deck is fine. Again, no bombs, but quite a decent bit of removal. We do have potential to curve out and win. Though, yeah. Uh, good hand. Hopefully, see a third land not too late. So, also hope Guildmate survives to be useful to us. Not the two drop I want to play on turn two, but still, I think I'm gonna play it over the the urchin to maximize damage. Gonna get dead weighted or something like that. Okay, so opponent either go Gary or Selesnya here, or five color stuff. Weird that he put it on the guild gate. Can't, can't think that is rare. I can't think why would he did that. We'll see. Yeah, I think this actually tells me he has Cavalier in hand because he wants to have like white, white, green, green. I think that's the only reason I can think why he would put uh, Utopia on the guild gate so he can have another white source. So anyways, we're just gonna guard for battle here, which enables a very good attack from us. Uh, hopefully we draw third land so we can bodyguard if opponent plays nothing or luminous bonds or cavalier if they play the cavalier. Was I right? Was it cavalier? Kinda don't want to be right. Cavalier is just an insane card. What are you playing opponent? So yeah, Gerd has been fine. Weird that is an uncommon, but it works kind of like combat trick, as in that it can enable attacks that we wouldn't have otherwise. So it's obviously not a combat trick. So here, oh, kind of unfortunate that the urchin is now getting hit by the Gerd, the the citywide bust. Bit of a nombo there. Oh, that is bad. No turn. No two drop or land drop, so that puts us a bit behind here. Too bad we really wanted to be curving out there. Let's see how the game progresses. So yeah, Rose Main Center is also probably gonna start attacking. We are not gonna double block if he does that, because then we lose the guild mage for, mage for sure. Oof, okay, opponent's getting aggressive with us. Hitting us for 6, getting 2 life back. And yeah, we need to start drawing some answers. And by answers, I, I mean lands. <laughs> okay, nice, we're back in the game. Uh, what are we doing? We can Luminous Bonds that or play the Bodyguard. I think we need to develop our board here. It's not like we get amazing attacks. Can we bluff here? Attack with the Archon? Yeah. Don't feel like it particularly here. So yeah. We're cutting an opponent off attacks. If he hits with Roseman Center, we're threatening to double block here. Though I wouldn't actually do that. Unless opponent, of course, taps out. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. The Garrison Sergeant. A very weird card to splash for. It's not too good. So, okay. Is opponent just gonna pass? Or is he gonna bash in? Okay. 
profile of that. So the sergeant's being kind of annoying. Maybe we want to attack a bit. So we could bonds it. And then we don't have too much. But this is gonna start attacking and it's gonna put a lot of pressure on us. If we bonds it, yeah, but then we're gonna get hit for way too much on the crack back. Well, in this case we're just gonna play another bodyguard or an investor. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate that opponents are very much dodging the bust at this point with some low toughness big rubs. Again, this is card, a card I'm more of doing a test right now. Not sure if it's exactly the one you want to play, at least in the main deck. So, opponent gets a Pegasus Corsair, um, which we're gonna have to deal with, otherwise, we're just gonna die to it immediately. So, okay, the opponent's. Opponent sure has a lot of colors. Actually, I'm guessing he's probably not black. Maybe he just wants to have color guild gate for him. Um, so yeah, here I could bonds the rocker, the the charger, rock charger. Yeah. Um, or I could just tap it. But it's just such a problem. I'm gonna need to deal with it every turn, so I'm just gonna bonds it for now. Also the interesting that the bodyguard can only pump the urchin. So we're not making bust worse for us. I wish she would play something like I don't know. Probably gonna cut the bus full sideboard in this match. Color is gonna be better. So yeah, I'm also expecting to see some splash red removal, like the five damage for five mana probably. Oh, opponent's also playing an actual swamp, so I guess he is black. Weird. So yeah, we're, we're keeping in this board stall, not really drawing lands, but also not getting too pressured, we'll see. So yeah, the sergeant, the sergeant uh, does not have too much of an attack since we can just trade both bodyguards for it. I'm not too worried about combat rates, to be honest. So, okay. Um, just develop our board, I guess. The bonds, we can bonds this. Hit with everything, but then we're chump attacking into the Rosemain Central. So, not too interested in that. We could also pass a turn, tap this pre combat, or tap this end of turn, bonds this, and make a big attack next turn. But I don't see that accomplishing too much. We're playing very passive here, not not the greatest. Not a great situation for us. Opponent could draw into flower, but. I don't think this is the kind of deck that should play flower. So yeah. Okay, assassins. Wow, weird. Okay. Uh, so Pun's gonna make a big attack this turn, but we're glad to see the land. So we can either ordinary goblin and bonds, or just bond. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to answer the rock charger. Also, we're gonna. We're getting hit for 7 here, drop down to 6. So, we're also getting pressured quite a bit here. We might be dead on the crack back. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, this spells trouble for, for us. 
good thing the instructor can only mentor the charger. If he could get a trigger on the sergeant, that would be crushing. Okay, some champ attacks there. Oh boy, that is that is rough for us. So this flies, I guess. We can do stuff. So here's the deal. Um, this, 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 not this, like this. And this goes here. Uh, how much are we taking here? Also weird stuff we don't particularly care about keeping the charger. Uh, oh crap, this is tough call. Uh, okay, I have been seeing the bug where I can't see the, the freaking time limit, so that's kind of stressful. Let's block like this. Is this okay? Oh. Okay, whatever. Uh, minus minor upside, we get to keep a bodyguard. Okay, we're alive, <laughs> and we have a tap effect, which is very good. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna have the mana to use it. So what are we doing here? We can either tap the rock charger or bonds it. I'm just gonna bonds it and uh, yeah to stay alive we need to either tap the rock charger or bonds it so we'll just do this so just making sure we don't have attacks but yeah we're gonna need to chump the sergeant which is bad for us but I think we can still come back. We have a lot of cards in hand. Opponent did throw a lot of material away next last turn. We'll see. We'll see if opponent plays passive. Um, tough thing is we can't really trade for the sergeant here. Uh, so okay, that's good for draw for them. Cylinder. They definitely should attack with this. And maybe even this. So, what is he doing? I'll say, yeah, city wide bus is just being miserable this game. It's fine by us. Fine, I believe. Come on, make your attack. Okay, so I just stacks with that. Um So we could trade two for two. Two for one, I mean. If we trade two for one, we're gonna be left with like the urchin versus his whole board. I don't think it's where I wanna be in. Uh they'll actually Maybe this is the way to do it. I don't know. Guild Mage is good, but we can use that mana to develop our creatures. So, you know, we can either play both two drops, probably gonna be the play. They can, they can chump the, they can trade up the dropper. Alrighty then. Keep, we keep playing blockers. So, see what we force them to do. So, 
So yeah, we still have four, two, four drops to play. Oh crap, we lost. <laughs> yeah, we're just are we dead? We're dead on board. They can just an assassin's trophy and hit us for lethal. Or did that? Yeah, and we're done. So move on to game two. We're definitely gonna cut. Uh, bust and we're not even gonna bring in the collar so bus goes out star goes in I would like additional answers for for the flyer but we don't have those what else is there we played you want to play this I don't think so. Oh, okay, so what they're splashing is Assassin's Trophy and the 5 drop guy. Do we want our 5 drop guy? I don't think so. Looks fine. Looks fine. Let's go. Okay, this hand is bad. We would need to draw. No, can't keep this. Uh, this has no creatures, but two good cards. The motion we may actually maybe we should have sided the motion out. Opponent is a bit aggressive, like a bit more aggressive than us. Not a good keep. Not a good initial hand. We'll see. What do we get? Okay, land not what we wanted to see here, so we are playing the unicorn on as our first play on turn four, so definitely not ideal, but maybe we can hit a attack freely. I don't know. We're gonna need some good draws to get out of this. Okay, opponent's also not doing much. And we have two removal spells in hand plus demotion. So maybe the cost will be clear. Wonder if they miss their land drop again. Nope. So we really shouldn't do this here. Okay, so we're probably just sniping this off with the luminous bonds. Or the intervention, not sure about it yet. Intervention is an instant, but this can hit anything. Versus his deck they're both pretty pretty close, but yeah, we'll see what he does. we'll see what we do here. So I think here we're going to go for the bond since it allows us to curve out. Okay, so let's bond this. Since upon us severed out, we're going to play the recruit so we mask this. And now we have actually good attacks and so two removal spells. So. Uh, Pond is going to need extra removal to get out of this situation, not just blockers. 
but if it does have removal, uh, then we, we're in a bit of a pickle. But again, I think the only thing we saw in form of removal was Assassin's Trophy, which uh, he can cast right now. So let's see what I'm just gonna do. Really like the recruit. Very happy with it. I think it's one of the better two drops for the Boros egg. Probably the best common two drop for sure. So any place? Okay, is he gonna attack because he isn't blocking anyways? Glad that we have instant speed stuff to do. So we're gonna all attack. If opponent tries to trick us, we have a trick of our own. No blocks, I guess. So okay, play the garrison and pass the turn. Have opponent on the two turn clock. Again, forcing him to have removal. Also, this could go face, though it does not speed our clock at the moment. Can this go face? Yeah, it can go face. Again, the motion, the pacifism that only stops the creature from blocking. Also nice that it stops the guild mage. Oh, that is not gonna work out for them. So, I think we're just gonna intervention now, because there isn't really a combat trick that can save it, so we're not gonna get blown out, unlike our opponent. And not, I don't think bringing this, if they brought it out of the sideboard, was a good idea. We have quite a bit of removal. So, okay. And now, we threaten lethal. We did have the option of just demoting it on our turn. Take 5 and demote it on our turn, but I don't know. It would leave us damage in hand, which does have quite a bit of value, but... Uh... Yeah, say like if opponent removes a uh, creature from us, we don't have lethal anymore while we would have with the intervention. Maybe the motion was the correct way. But that's just minor optimization really. Not too minor. It's good to think about this stuff. But okay, so we see what we have. Um We could consider maniacal rage. Maniacal Rage could go in the place of Gerd, for instance, but I don't think it's really necessary to go that all in. Even if we did, did see that opponent did not have much in form of removal. Again, during these games we saw one removal spell so far. But yeah, we'll see what happens there. So yeah, this is also a, kind of an important match, as in we're 1-1 one, one on competitive draft in the arena. And the way the prizes work, um, if you get 1 or 0 wins, you get no gems, so... That's pretty rough for going infinite, which is usually the objective. So two wins is where you you definitely want to get at least two wins. Going one or zero is very rough because you just spent fifteen hundred gems that you aren't getting back. So while I 
do... There's a bit of a temptation to keep this. We have two draws. To draw land and two two drops and a good hand otherwise. Removal. It's rough. It would be a gamble. I think I don't think we need to do it. So, oh. See, this is much better. Very nice. Uh, very nice. So, I'm gonna keep that. So we're actually not. I don't think we should play the hawk here. It messes with our curve too much to not play the guild gate turn one. Warner Goblin has been interesting actually. It acts as kind of like a three power creature on the block, so that is something. So we're just gonna play our lowest value creature, I believe. Um so let's see. Sounds good. This hand's going very well. This guild mage will be a problem late game, and we actually don't have many answers for it. Like luminous bonds doesn't stop its 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 abilities, but I don't see the game going that long. So our opponents very much representing a combat trick here. I don't think I need to take the bait. Uh, weird. Uh, he didn't seem to have a fast spell there. Maybe he actually did up for the trade. Kind of surprising. Anyways, uh, we have a very aggressive draw, so although it would be a trade-up, I don't think it's even that important for us to trade there. Let's just keep pressure in our opponent. Next turn, we'll play the Wojak Bodyguard. Having a mentor on this board will be very good. But hopefully opponent does not play big blocker, we're, we're light on ways to deal with that at the moment. Okay, so that is very premature. Like, that is a very passable creature. We haven't, I don't think he has a legendary that he wants to protect, for instance. So, yeah, this is, that was a bit much. So, Pona has definitely ramped us here and we're, we're glad to, to capitalize off that by putting a lot of pressure on the opponent. Also good that even if he kills the both of these, which I don't think he can do, but then we could play the Legionnaire and attack the Bodyguard. Bodyguard has been one of the best commons in in Boros. It's just a very, very good creature. It doesn't block well, but usually on attacks you will be fine with it if you have built your deck correctly. So yeah, opponent hasn't been doing much this game. Attacking with the guild mage has been weird, I think. I know. We'll see what he does. Okay, hammer dropper. Uh, good, but opponent isn't really on attacks, so he can't capitalize too much on it. So now, we can either play the Legionnaire and make a big attack, or we can play the Blade Instructor. Blade Instructor, I don't want the Hammer Dropper to attack freely, so I think I'm gonna just play the Blade Instructor post-combat, so 
just bash in with everything. The all attack button does not work with the bodyguard, it's a bit of a bug. So we're gonna grow the healer's hawk. Just good. Upon uh, is looking to be a bit aggressive now, especially if he opts to keep his hammer dropper. He does not, so he makes a double frame. We're fine with it since we have still a lot of material in the hand. So we'll play the low check bodyguard, and next turn we have even the legionnaire. So. Our offense hasn't gone down by anything. So yeah. Oh, also he's splashing the hammer dropper. One of that's kind of weird. He's splashing like his red splash seems kind of peculiar. Okay, so now we'll play our non-haste creature. This is a new card that we've seen from the opponent. I think we haven't seen that yet. So yeah, now we still have a lot of attackers putting pressure. Even a mentor to grow the healer's hawk or probably the legionnaire. Have it as a 3-3. Three, three. Opponent has kept a lot of cards in hand. Still, he might be in the game still. Okay, District guy. opponent already has perfect mana, but now he'll go to 6. Also, this trades with the Blade Instructor, uh, which I think we're fine with. We'll still offer the trade to get the Mentor Trigger. The Mentor Trigger will put the opponent on a, three, uh, on a 2 turn clock, so we're going for it. So, all attack. Um, uh, we'll just see, we're gonna put on the Legionnaire so it can go over uh, three toughness creatures from the opponent, such as like the Pegasus Corsair. Okay, uh, I wonder why he didn't block because this was a very good trade. Maybe he's just conceding. Or maybe he has something. We'll see. Vivid Revival. This card... Uh, I don't think too much of this card, but maybe it's okay. I don't know. So yeah. Good game. Per deck performed well. Measure Creatures did quite fine. So we'll move on to game 3. Game 4, I mean.